Flashlight. Where is that coming from anyway? Three lights I have to hold to. Very embarrassing. No money. Can you tell this is no money? Stop this too. I have no shoes. Do I look all right? Flashlight. Bow tie. This is not called stand up flashlight. Nail polish. Come up. Why am I here? Spots are my eyes. Ow. All righty. Are you ready, Tone? Tony is going to the stage, and uh, he's a really good friend of mine. He really is. And I say that about every comic, but uh, this time, it's really true. Uh, you've seen him on the CBS series, The uh, Top of the Hill. You've seen him on a lot of films, Star Trek V, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive, but he'll tell you all about it. Tony Edwards, ladies and gentlemen. Rose. There goes Rose. Look at her. Rose here. Hi. Roll, darling, you look fabulous tonight, I might say. Yeah, I, you know, I really appreciate what women go through to get ready to go out. Just period, you know, because cause sometimes women have to go through actual physical pain to get ready to go out. It's true. Have you heard about the latest torture device to women? The Epilady? <laughs> you, know you see the commercials? The commercials are a total lie. They make it sound painless. The commercials go, Epilady removes the hair. From his head. Just like, woo, you know. Like, you don't have to touch your leg with the thing. You just wave it over, and the hair fairy comes down. Tink, go your way. You're famous. You know how this thing actually works? Uses a rotating steel spring to rip. <laughs> rip, I say, the hair up by the roots. This thing is dangerous. You could rob a 7 Eleven with an Epilady. <laughs> All right, nobody move. I got an Epilady. <laughs> Put the cash in the bag, man. I'll de it. That's I mean it. I'll make you look like Kojak on a bad day when I get done with you, man. <laughs> hey, while you're at it, put some batteries in that bag, too. I'm running a little low here. <laughs> the apple lady. You know that a man had to come up with this thing, right? A, right? a woman would think it's only a guy would think of removing hair using a steel spring. <laughs> and I know exactly how he got the idea, too. Guys, you ever use one of those chest exerciser things? <laughs> Oh, I'm feeling good now, feeling strong. Oh, hell. my hair is good. Wait a minute, I got an idea. Honey, bring your hair legs over here for a second. I want to try some. Uh, Epi, Epi, get your butt over here. Come on. You know, so I appreciate what women go through. I don't understand women. But I appreciate you, because women have their own social context. Social context this is my own theory. There are certain people that, certain words that some people can use that other people should not try to use. Same thing with black folks. We have our own social context. Words that we know how to use, you folks should not try to use. <laughs> like the other day, I'm walking down the mall. I overhear this blonde-haired, blue-eyed, teeny bopper girl. She's going, ooh, that Debbie Gibson. She's really right on. <laughs> eh, I'm sorry. I mean. <laughs> Cool, maybe. Bitching, quite possibly. Right on, I don't think so. <laughs> it's not fair. You never hear a black guy going, hey, that's fantastic. <laughs> you, know, you never hear that. <laughs> Unless you're watching the Today Show or something, and then <laughs> it's a different thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Social context. See, like rap. Rap music is within our social context. You know why black folks like rap music so much? White people can't stand it. That's the only reason. I think I'll let you in on a little secret. We don't like it ourselves. That's right, we play it to piss you guys off, you know? We're driving down the street. Oh, man, that's terrible. Turn it down. Yeah, I know it's bad, but look at the guy in the BMW flipping us off. Oh, man. Just got my hair cut, and that was baffling. Confused, didn't know what to do. You know, there's just so many hairstyles available to black folks these days. <laughs> you know, I didn't know maybe I should go for the Bobby Brown Gumby look. <laughs> what happened to Bobby? Did he just go to the barber? Make me look like Gumby. I want to be Gumby. Here's my pal. Make me look like Pokey. We want to hang out together, okay? I didn't know if I should go for the Tracy Chapman Life Sucks Who Needs a Comb look. <laughs> Tracy, baby, chill. You got, you got the war. Just chill. I hate guys with long hair. That really makes me mad. You know? The other day, I'm driving down Sunset Boulevard, and I see these really two fine-looking sisters. You know, I, I thought they were sisters, right? So I'm driving. I'm going, ooh, look at that long hair. Ooh, look at the cute butt and those tight jeans. Ooh, yeah. I get a little bit farther. 
Oh no, it's Millie Vanilli. I'm gay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.